Hi folks, how you doing? Hope you're all well. Anyway, today comes with paid promotion. Well, sort of paid promotion. Wonderful people at Saka. Saka? Saka? How are we saying it? I'm going with Saka. Wonderful people at Saka uh, reached out and said, uh, would you like to test our um, battery powered electric chainsaw? And <laughs> I basically said to them, are you sure? You want me to actually review something? Well, something else that needs fixing. Um, because at the end of the day, I, as you all know, I don't pull my punches. Uh, I'll literally tell it like it is. And a lot of these companies reach out and they say, we'd like you to do a video uh, of our product. And they tell you what they want to say. They literally like, want you to say this, 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 and this. Um, these folks didn't. All they asked for was an unboxing. Now, kind of cheated a little bit on the unboxing because I was going to unbox it down here, but I also needed to charge the battery. So how do I charge the battery without opening the box? <gasps> It's a quandrum, isn't it? Anyway, so I sneakily opened it, charged the battery. So we're going to pretend this is an unboxing, but the battery's already been charged. So here goes. We have instructions. We have lots of little plastic bags, which I hate, to be fair. Bog standard, normal battery that you'd find on petrol strimmers at uh, petrol strimmers. No, you wouldn't find a battery on a petrol strimmer, would you? No, you'd find it on an electric strimmer. Uh, Allen keys, oil, protective foam, and a little screwdriver. Oh, now I really like that. I know a lot of people would say that obviously it's a waste of plastic and metal and resources, but when you need a certain size screwdriver for a product and it's not in the box, it can be really annoying if you haven't got loads of little screwdrivers. Hello, Mr. Robin, how are you doing? Um, so yeah, I quite like that, nice touch. So here we have it, the little electric chainsaw. Bit of a beaut that, isn't it? Quite like it. It's uh, got slight Makita colouring to it. <laughs> See what they've done there. Anyway, it's a nice grip. Now, I have to be careful, look, because obviously I have a disability, which means I can't bend my fingers properly. So my finger could possibly get in the way. But if you notice, they actually have thought about that because there's a little guard there, which hopefully means that my finger won't get chopped off. So that's quite nice. Uh, by the way, whenever you're using chainsaws, I know this is only a tiny little chainsaw, um, but this can still do some serious damage to you. So use them with respect. I, there's no battery in there, okay, so we're safe. But I see people chopping wood on their thighs and all sorts. You cut through your thigh, you've got four minutes to live. Four minutes. Now it's a four minute, five minute walk probably back to my car, okay? And a lot of people out there, I see them doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's almost like, oh, it's a little chainsaw, it can't hurt me. No, no, it'll chop limbs off just as easily as, another ch as a big chainsaw. So treat them with respect, use both hands, cut down the side, don't cut towards you, cut away from you. All the things you do with a big chainsaw, do with a little chainsaw, otherwise, you end up more disabled than me. Um, right, folks, I'm going to put the battery in. Uh, I'm going to actually I'm going to grab the camera, uh, give you a close up look. Now, what am I going to do? In fact, I'm just going to plug the battery in and we're going to cut this wood. Now, this wood here is the old raised bed. And so they've got rotten ends. And obviously they've got screws in and stuff, which are going to be a pain to come out. And if you look, it's rotten. It's, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across there. I've probably got about 20, 30 pieces of this wood. And if I can chop those end bits off, uh, I can reuse the rest and it'll be, uh, it'll be saved. Uh, but to be fair, I find that if you just leave the rotten bits on the end, the rot just spreads. So if you want to preserve old wood, cut as much of the rot away as possible. Uh, this, this wood's not going to last forever, but you know, I'll probably get another two, three, four years out of this wood once I've trimmed it up. Uh, and wood's expensive. Timber is expensive at the moment. So anything I can do to save as much of this as possible, uh, the better, because I've got two sheds to repair, a compost bin to build, and a raised bed to clad. And I don't want to have to spend any money on timber this autumn. I want to use all the timber that's lying around my allotment because I've been saving it up for the last few years for this very reason because I want to do everything up and not pay a penny for it. So let's crack on, shall we?
Hey folks, so there we have it. That's what we're looking at. Uh, now, uh, obviously, these are for sorting out the chain and the instructions for doing that are all in here. Uh, I'm not going to fanny around with the chain today because obviously it's all set up, ready to go. Uh, as long as that's tight, which it is, uh, we're all good. Full instructions, which I've already read. And uh, obviously, they're pretty detailed, to be fair. Uh, and they do make sense because sometimes you get these things and unfortunately, the translations can get lost in translation. Uh, but no, uh, so far so good. But the proof of the pudding is in the chopping. So let's get cracking. Now, I, uh, I like to wear gloves with most things I do because it helps my grip. I know there's some people out there that might say don't use gloves because uh, know, they get tangled, they might make it worse, but actually gloves help me. So uh, I'm gonna don my gloves, get that battery on, and we're gonna have a go. Now, now look, as I've said, don't be using, no battery, so we're safe, but don't be using chainsaws like that. Make sure you're cutting away from yourself. Don't be cutting towards yourself, please. It's only little, but it'll still be incredibly dangerous. Right. In fact, which way are we gonna go? I'm gonna go that way through there, I think. Uh, right across there. So once we lock this on, we're live, and then you treat this with respect. Now there's a button there, which is obviously a safety button. So you press that button in and you get power. That shouldn't work on its own, which is a safety feature. But remember, we're now live. So cut away from yourself. Please cut away from yourself. So we're gonna pop this in. Now, because of my hands, I'm gonna keep that finger out of the way there. I'm gonna pop that button in. Well, I mean, short work of that. That's all right, that. I mean, slightly on the piss, but that's me. That's not that. Uh, well, that's a lot easier than using a handsaw anyway. Uh, it's a bit of rot there, isn't there? So we'll probably go to about here somewhere. There we go. That's a half decent bit of timber, which will clad that up quite nicely. And that's a few quid saved. And again, that's another good bit of wood saved. I need to improve the accuracy of my cuts, but considering I'm doing it with a tiny little chainsaw, I don't think that's too bad at all. And for uh, bodging a few jobs down the allotment, uh, cutting wood for raised beds. I mean, I'm not trying to be a master cabinet maker at all with this. <laughs> right, folks, this is a log. Uh, that I've had for a, for a few months now because I want to turn it into a bird feeder. <coughs> That's the plan with this. But obviously, as you can see, there's a few bits that I want to tidy up uh, and I've been putting it off and putting it off because I know it's going to take ages with a handsaw. So let's see if uh, this will make short work of it. We want to cut, cut that branch off there uh, and I want to tidy that branch up there uh, and then the rest of it is good for what I want it for. So, again, cutting away from ourselves. I'm going to cross there first, I think.
wow, that's done exactly what I wanted and it's taken hardly any effort. Now we're just going to get rid of this one here. Oh, that's me forcing it. That's not the chainsaw. In fact, we're going to just cut these bits off here because they're getting in the way. And that's why you don't do stupid things with a chainsaw. Did you see that? My end of my glove just got nicked in there. Uh, so yeah, the argument for using gloves There we go. It made short work of that. But as you can see, it's a dangerous tool. So don't piss around with it or lose your concentration and do stupid things like I just did because you'll lose a thumb. Um, so yeah, but that is, uh, I'm very impressed with that. Uh, but treat it with respect. Please treat it with respect. Okay, that's a couple of jobs done. Let's crack on and do some more. <laughs> so there you have it folks, the Saka Mini Electric Chainsaw, it, it, it cuts wood, which is what you'd expect. Uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. that. That will come in handy massively over the next few months, chopping wood. But as you can see, please, it's not a toy. It's really not a toy. Um, and as you see from that, me being stupid for what was a second could have resulted in a digit missing. Uh, so it's important that they're treated with respect. Um, and yeah, engage your brain, unlike I just did. Uh, it seems to be built quite well. Uh, obviously, the proof of the pudding with that will come after weeks and months of, of using it. Uh, and I'm not quite sure how long the battery will last. Uh, it's like all these things, you know, the more power, the, more hot, the harder it is to cut through things, the more it's going to drain the battery. But if I can come down do a bit of soaring, take it home, charge it, bring it back down again. Uh, over the course of the winter, I should get a lot done with that. And, it, and it, it does save the effort of having to do that, especially obviously because of my muscle disability, doing that with a saw constantly causes loads of stress on my muscles and tendons and everything else. So that will be a massive help. But please, 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 please treat it with respect. As you saw from that video, it would be very easy to get your finger in the way and lop it off as it would with all chainsaws. It's not a problem with this chainsaw, but with all chainsaws, these things are incredibly dangerous. Even if they're little and tiny, they're incredibly dangerous. Uh, and treat them with respect. Don't let the kids play with it. Don't leave it lying around with the battery in it. You know, no battery, no power. Okay, if you want to do anything with it, you want to carry it, put it in your bag, take the battery out because that will tear through you. You've seen what it's done to the log. So it's going to have no problem tearing through your skin. So um, yeah, Saka, uh, Saka, I think you've done a good job there. Uh, I'm going to make another video in a couple of months, see how we've got on. But yeah, so far so good. Right, folks, till next time. Take care. Speak soon.